There's a lot of hurt out there. There's no question about it. Governor Murphy says he hears you and he feels your pain. Lawmakers likewise say they got the message from voters from a couple of weeks ago. Affordability is the number one issue. People are leaving the state. Um, taxes continue to be high. Cost of living is high. Housing, health care is high. Those are the issues we should be tackling, not some of these uh, wedge issues. The primary concerns of almost all of us are cost of living and how can we continue to raise our families here. Voters did send some Democratic lawmakers packing and elected some real red Republicans whose campaigns framed the election as a time to return to pocketbook issues and away from what some have called hashtag issues. We're going back to the number one problem that New Jerseyans have had re regarding the state for literally 50 years, the 50 years that we have been polling in New Jersey, uh, taxes, property taxes. This is, you know, perennially the concern of New Jerseyans for decades, of course. Ashley Koning of the Eagleton Center at Rutgers says 53 percent of respondents to a recent poll said either taxes or the economy are the biggest issues facing the state. Like the weather, everybody seems to be talking about affordability, but who's actually going to do something about it? Give them an agenda that they could follow, certain things that they could do legislatively or policy-wise that would help affordability. Well, first, we've capped spending at the local level, at the county level at 2%. Why not pass a constitutional amendment with a certain cap, even if it's 3%, could be 4%, whatever it is, because we've seen 7% increases. Because unless you put politicians on a budget, they're going to find a reason to spend money. Of course, capping state spending is easy to suggest when you're in the minority party in the state capitol. But Bramnick goes further, calling for a Florida-style real estate tax system. The concept is that when you're living in your house, you have a limited increase in your property taxes. But when you sell that house and the new family comes in, the family that now is a, let's say, a two earner, you know, then you put the property taxes at the fair market value. And it really works in Florida because people are able to stay in their homes. Now, it's something we have to phase in, but it's something that makes perfect sense because, you know, as I get older and others get older and we start to retire, we want to stay in our houses. I think we have to look at the structure of New Jersey as a whole. Uh, and we've talked about it for a while. And, and I think now the legislature needs to act. 600 plus school districts, hundreds of housing authorities, sewer authorities, municipal governments. Uh, we need to do massive shared services. I think uh, for a long time we have made it optional and incentivizing. And now I think it has to get to a place where it's starting to be forced. Gopal also says he wants income taxes to be the main source of school funding. He said the tab is always on homeowners, no matter if they have kids in the local school system or not, or if they're seniors on fixed incomes. But Sue Altman of Working Families says the real economic evil lies in the layer of government we often know the least about, the county. Hundreds of millions of dollars controlled by like five guys or yeah. seven who haven't ever run a competitive race in their entire careers and they've been in office longer than I've been alive. And by the way, that doesn't necessarily mean we cut services or aid or support to poor communities, it doesn't mean that. We're sick of giving up the ground of the conversation of affordability to the right. I don't think it needs to happen that way. I think we can have a serious conversation about how our party, Democrats, can be more accountable to working class people, and it starts with cleaning up in our backyards in New Jersey. So keep an eye on your wallet. Your elected officials and advocates say, while you may not find it full of extra cash in the new year, they promise to help ease your economic pain especially now that they think more of you are watching and voting. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.